Yo guys, oh shit, I'm dark. Why am I so dark? There we go, sorry guys. How's everyone doing tonight? Um, I want to thank everybody for tuning in to these videos. Uh, as I said, I want to thank everyone for tuning in to these videos. Um, I have a story to tell. Like in my past, um, I'm not so perfect, guys. So, this is more of a confession and just talking some bullshit. Like, to be honest, I'm in love with my girlfriend, but also I carry some baggage. Like, my life is not what it seems. Like, I go through stuff like everyone else. I have bipolar schizophrenia. And I've done some stuff in my life that just, I feel like I, I feel like I did this shit to myself because I was doing drugs and I was doing all kind of crazy shit. Like hell, I even tried to weed brownie before and I was fucked up. And my brother tried to, and I had shrooms too, so I'm not so perfect guys. So anyone thinking that I got it all, I really don't. Like literally this stuff cost me an arm and a leg, but you know. I'll be trying to grow as much as I can to build a good fan base so I can actually succeed doing this stuff. So what I had to do to get over all the drugs and everything, I had to let go of the past. Like I had to like literally leave it behind and not focus on that anymore. Like that's how you do that. Sorry, I'm not I'm showing off my watch. That's another confession. I got me a watch. A little cheap Walmart watch. $8 at Walmart. But hey, I'm going to get one of them expensive ones, though, pretty soon. So, And I got money in my safe. So this is more of a confession video. Just talking bullshit, guys. I'm talking on top of my head. And the game you see behind me, I was playing that. It was that video I did at Xenoverse when I was on the grind. Basically grinding myself out to... Level my character build and all that. And I'm hearing like. Okay, on my Xbox One. My character is 87. Level 87. He's a Saiyan. Goes by the name Ruka. When I was thinking Ruka was just some hardcore name. But now it's come to find out. It was really a porn star hentai shit. Hentai. Whatever. However you say it. And if you're not sure what hentai or hentai is, it's basically anime porn. Basically what they do, they just, I don't know. I don't want to get no one on ideas. I'm not trying to be a bad influence on nobody because I know I have children watching this too. So I just want to thank everybody for tuning in and helping me out grow my little franchise or my little empire. But you guys are actually pretty awesome. So far, some of the feedback that I get is actually very useful to me because I can use the ideas that you guys give me and put it into a bigger project, maybe a rap or something. Because that song I did for my mother called Dear Mama, that song took me a lifetime to write because I was reading lifetime worth of notes and feelings and Everything that I got right in my mom and stuff like that. Not about my girlfriend or anything. Um, I really just want to make things right. Like, I'm tired of being stuck. Like, I want to make something so good that it'll blow someone's mind to pieces, basically. Like, this stuff ain't easy to do, guys, for real. Like, I can sit here all day and be ranting and ranting and ranting and ranting and ranting. But, you know, to get anywhere in life, you got to be willing to actually let go of the past. You got to you gotta be willing to put in the work, stay at work, and do what you're supposed to do. Like, people are always telling me, oh, Elijah, all you do is sit on your ass and play video games. Nah, really, no, I don't. Like, for real, I'm working two jobs. Top of that, I'm getting ready to carry another job on my shoulders. So, I'm ready. I'm ready for anything, guys. So, tomorrow at Golden Crowd, I'm going to work my ass off. Like, I don't care. I'm going to do what I can to impress my boss. 
and do what I can, actually do what I have to do, and I'm going to work my ass off. So regardless of what anyone says or whatever input anyone has on me or rumors going around about me and stuff like that, it's not true because I know what I do and what I don't do. You guys are just some fucked up people for that shit, like for real. Like calling me OG Down Syndrome and shit, like saying I'm weird and shit. Like if I was weird, I wouldn't be sitting here with all this fucking shit in here. Like literally, I have everything. So if I'm weird for working my ass off to make a difference in my life, so I'm not basically letting the schizophrenia take over my body and me running around here acting crazy, hurting people and stuff. And forcing people into shit. Like, nah, that's not who I want. I don't, I'm not a street rat. Like, literally, I admit that. That's another confession. I was not born in the streets. Yes, my real parents are drug addicts. And they belong in the sheets or the streets. Or wherever, in a shack or a rat hole or whatever. Like, for real, like, I'm trying to make a difference in my life. So I don't go down the same path as my mother. My biological mom. Cause what my here's where things get a little bit twisted. My mother, her name is Carlotta. She abandoned me when I was just a young infant because she decided to the drugs were too heavy for her and she was too far gone. So she didn't know how what to do. And plus I'm pretty sure I was a mistake anyways, but I turned out to be a fucking legend. And I want to thank my parents for not using a fucking condom because you guys created a fucking legend. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, look at yourself as a king or queen. Like, enjoy the little things in life and someday they might turn into this, you know. You know, life is not measured how much we can give and how much we can give. Like, literally, if you want something hard enough, if you want something bad enough, go get it. Fight for it. If you're broke as fuck, make a difference, get a job, work your ass off, and try your hardest to actually succeed in life, because life is not going to wait for you to get off your ass and to stop doing drugs and to stop being fucking idiots. Like, for real, you want something bad enough, go get it. You want to rob someone for the rest of your life, try to get the fast money, eventually that shit's going to catch up to you, and you're probably going to end up in a fucking crazy house and a locked cell. And with padded room or worse, tied to a bed, or your your ass will be probably locked in a min little miniature cell, banging on the door, begging someone to come get you out of there. And when the lights go out, you're stuck. You won't literally you won't know what to do because you're trapped. Like you fucked up. Like I don't know what I'm really trying to say, guys. But back to the story about my mom. She abandoned me as a child, and I grew up in an adopted family. And I'm thankful for this adopted family for taking me in. But now things are starting to turn a little bit good for me. Because I'm working on my, me and my girlfriend really. Like We're trying to progress and get better. And see each other more. And get things done. So we're taking the next step into life guys. And that's all I'm going to say. Like For real. If you want something bad enough. Go get it. Succeed. Be determined, be the best king or queen and our legend that you can fucking be. Because, for real, life will fucking eat you the fuck up. That's all I gotta say, guys. With that being said, guys, everyone stay tuned for more. Peace.